One of my biggest concerns with the ongoing debate is not necessarily the debate that's been going on just these last uh, few weeks or so, but it's the debate that's been going on for a long time now. Uh, as somebody who's paid astute attention to this matter for many years, um, the Democrats have been pushing a plan for 15 specifically for a very long time. And I happen to know a little bit about that plan. And one of the things I find about the debate today is that you have a lot of accusations flying around. I think somebody coined the phrase earlier, political football. Um, and that seems to be the case. And if you, if, if you look at the uh, plan for 15 that's been pushed for a long time, I've looked at the numbers for 15, and the one thing that will happen at 15 or less, and it even starts at 17, is it will enlarge the city districts. It will enlarge the city districts out into the rural areas. And I find that some of the arguments that have been made are really disingenuous because you often hear the argument about limited government. And as the plan has been pushed, and as the Republicans have voted against that plan, in my opinion, that plan has been a very highly partisan plan, developed long ago by Democrats behind closed doors, with no public input, with no Republican input, and it's designed to serve them. Now, again, when you when you look at this uh, when you look at this issue now, and the fact that it would push city districts out of the rural areas, I absolutely oppose that. I'm from the town of Ellicott. I didn't like what was done to my town last time. I especially don't like what would be done to my town under Mr. Mueller's plan. And I know we're not here to talk about that at the moment, but at least with the current plan, I don't know how it can be any more fair to Democrats. The numbers have been released. 10 of the districts favor the Democrats. Maybe I should take issue with the plan because it doesn't favor the Republicans. The Republicans are in the majority after all. So I'm you know, almost a little confused by that, but I guess if you look at it in the sense of fairness, that you applied a, a blind eye to doing the districts with regards to the demographic, that's a good thing. Um, with all due respect to the League of Women Voters, you know, one issue I take with the particular stance they put forward is that we should be looking at you know, racial issues and so on and so forth. I have a strong belief that we're Americans and we should stop looking at racial preferences and playing race or class warfare. So, you know, I, I take issue with that. But what I mostly take issue with is, again, the, the political football that's been played for a long time. And I, as somebody who does strongly believe in the principles of limited government, find the arguments that have been made in the past to be very disingenuous because I believe in a strong local government. I believe that it's our local government that stands between us and Albany and stands between us and Washington, D.C. Um, I've always thought we were doing something right in the county. Uh, I've heard the comparisons to Erie County so many times, I'm sick of it. Erie County is a whole different animal. These guys are paid big money, benefits, constituent services. Uh, let me see if I remember the figures right. Over a $3 million a year budget for their legislature, what is ours? One fifth of that. Are we really doing something wrong here with having 25 people? I don't really think so. I'm okay with the 19 because it doesn't meet that threshold of pushing the cities out into the towns such as mine. But I certainly don't want to see this plan fail, worse plans put forward. And on that note, I would like to put on the record that I, I take great issue with how Mr. Mueller has handled this. I think he has abused his power. I think he has gone outside of his authority and overruling his own vote. And with the idea that he has unilaterally gone to the county planning board, you want to start to, I'll wrap up. that he has gone to the county planning board and utilized county resources and people's time to which we the taxpayers are paying for, I have a demand for an answer. Is Mr. Mueller going to reimburse the taxpayers for that unauthorized use, or is the Democrat caucus going to pay for it? Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Anyone